I game using voice macros due to my disability, Queen. making it extremely difficult to use your typical gaming input devices. Him, and because I don't want to gatekeep, here's how you set up and use the software called voice tag which is what I use to do my voice commands. Obviously, the first step we have to do is install voice tag. And to do this, we have two options. The first is downloading and installing from the website. So open up your browser of choice and then search voice tag. Once here, click download and hit the big floppy disk to download the dot exe windows installer which you can follow through like how you would install any other program onto your pc the other option of installation is using steam here you just open steam search voice attack and then click on voice attack just a quick note when installing from steam i recommend getting the demo first as voice attack does have dependencies that not all systems have if you installed using the dot exe this will automatically install the trial version which you can upgrade to the full version by purchasing a key by clicking on to purchase on the voice tech website. The limitations you'll have about purchasing the full version are you'll only have two profiles which act as a group of commands which are typically set as one profile per game and then within each profile a limit of 20 commands. Whereas purchasing the full version you get unlimited profiles and unlimited commands unlocking the that voice attack has to offer. Once you've installed voice attack, open up and we'll first go and make sure the settings have our correct microphone set up as the microphone the speech recognizer will listen to. So click on the spanner to open the settings and then head to the recognizer tab if you aren't already there. The key setting here is Windows speech recording device and you want to set this device to your clearest microphone you have, which in my case is my HyperX podcast. I've then just left the speech engine as a system default along with all the other settings on this tab and also on all the other tabs. On general you just have a load of options just about your personal preference such as launch on startup and on audio you have the choice for voice stack to change default communication devices for your system. But again I've never touched these or found the need to so we can click on OK and head towards creating our first profile and commands. Now to creating your game profiles and a simple one key voice command. You create a new profile by clicking on the plus arrow in the top right hand corner. A window then pops up allowing you to give that profile a name which I typically call whatever game I plan on playing. In this case we'll just do Fortnite. Now to adding a very simple command activated by our voice. Simply hit new command and a new pop-up will appear. Now this command, I'm planning on having it reload my weapon, which is the R key whenever I say reload. So with when I say checkbox ticked, we type in reload, which is the word we want it to look out for. Now to add the action to be carried out when I say reload, as this is a key press, hit the button key press. And when the window opens up, tap the key you want the voice command to activate. In our case, this is the R key on our keyboard. In this menu, we have some further settings which allow for different key press options. But right now, we only care about the simple commands we require. So we can use the press and release key option. Here, you also have the option of how long the key will be held down for. In situations where the key is pressed quickly or an action such as here with reload, I find 0.3 seconds to be the ideal time. But in games where you may have to hold a key for a set period of time, such as planting the spike in Valorant, you can set this time required for whatever you like. Once that's all finished, hit OK on add a key press and that individual command, and then head down to done on add profile. We can now test this command by saying reload, reload. And if we've set this up all correctly, you'll see a green box with recognized reload. Or if you want this further, open up a notepad and then say the command again, reload. Then the key press you set up should appear. Once we have our first command set up, it's time to add the remainder of commands that we think we need in the game. To do this, we click on the pen icon and the same profile editor opens up we had previously. Here we click on the new command again 
and follow the same process we have just been through. A little tip I often find useful is to open up a wiki of the game you're going to play, which lists all the default controls the game has that you will need. I typically open this up alongside voice attack and then I can quickly match up the key bindings to the voice controls I think I'll need. So I'd advise doing this as well. The great thing about voice attack is this is only the beginning, but I'm going to leave it here for today before covering more advanced topics like multi key presses, if statements, loops, mouse activation, and other advanced features in future videos. As otherwise, I'll be here all night. As always, if you have questions, let me know in the comments, drop a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more voice macros in action, check out this video or something from this playlist. Have a good day, everyone. And